<laughs> hey, did you guys see the news? What, the work thing? Apparently, you two caused $3 million worth of damage. The guy literally lives in a glass house. Oh, yeah! You're gonna love this! Bam! What is that? What Dawes is keeping his dirty money? Your little tracker scheme worked? Now, right here, this is where Kai's phone wound up. Dawes is corporate HQ. I mean, the place is a beast. We're talking private elevators, blast resistant windows. Wait, I know that building. That's right on Foster Key off mainland Miami. And this is a work order for a vault that was installed in the penthouse suite six months ago. Okay, tell me about it. Foot thick steel door with a combination lock and magnetic seal. So we blow it open? Ah, the amount of explosives needed would level the building. So we don't blow it open. But do we? Now, I used to hang with some folks that have an auto dialer. It's like a safe cracking robot. They called it the Brute. I mean, the thing is fast, man. It can power open any combination safe. Call him. Tell him we need to borrow it. Already did. We just need to pick it up. Long way to come for a safe cracker. You really used to live out here? Oh, yeah. I was a little screwy after the army. You know, made a local friend. So I hung around for a while. Don't ask, don't tell, huh? Oh, he's funny. What'd you do in the army? Tell it just happens. But no skills to work, I see. <laughs> Look, you try getting a street job with a dishonorable discharge on your record during a recession. It's a long story, man. I'm an AWOL. For how long? Technically, I'm still AWOL. <laughs> so what about you, man? What's your story? Oh, what is soon? Oh. You got a little fat. What? You got a little looking good. I'm <laughs> gross. If I wasn't covered in dust, I'd need, like, SPF 5800 out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is, uh, uh, the friend I was talking about. Hi, I'm Nick. Hello there, Mr. Nick. <sighs> you look great. You really do. Thank you. So do you have the safe cracker thing or not? No, no, we have to go to the compound to pick it up. Oh, the cow pound. Uh, I thought you, you were gonna, um... Is your dad gonna be there? Oh my god, he's not mad at you anymore. Really? I mean, he's not gonna pop the champagne when he sees you, but... <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go pick it up then. Hey, do you guys mind driving? Sure, why not? Awesome! Go to the right here, Nick. So what have you been doing these days? Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road, I'll tell you when to turn. So are you like enjoying the work? I'm enjoying the money. So what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Oh, a boy's up to no good. So exciting. <laughs> so much dead, I still got a fucking- Marcus, the world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. All right, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well, we can- Marcus and I were very much in love. Mm -hmm. My father didn't Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he tried to... Leave with you. ...kidnap me, my dad said, which was so fucking romantic. But which kind of upset my dad, I guess? Show him your bracelet. Oh, GPS. So he always knows where I am. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Dad sounds intense. He isn't SEAL Team 6. Oh, he was not a SEAL Team 6. due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community of like-minded patriots. Patriots? Look, guys, you aren't. Totally aren't. Nick is cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. What? Where'd they go? Just gone. Dirt road straight ahead. That's ours. Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Albert, thanks for seeing us. Oh, it's the least I can do. Then you must be Nick. Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just gotta give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad kind of monitors my calls. Yeah, a lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. 
including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Sorry, Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. But Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Oh, peel her off this asshole before I puke. Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. I have relatively good news. Really. Where'd you get that? Dune gave it to me when she hugged me. Dune. Who just set us up? Dune? Who set you up? She's, uh, she's actually really good people. Oh, sure. All right, stay behind me. We gotta find a way out of here. There ain't no argument here. What the hell is this place anyway? Missile site. Decommissioned in the early 90s. Dude, just park down here. Please tell me how it doesn't have a nuke. They don't have a nuke. No, no. This is your designation. Your one man pilot to Mark Summit. Back to remind me. Okay, this way. Find that escape hatch. That Marcus kid anyway. The fucking know it all. Can't believe you guys used to let scumbags like that live around here. Shit, we had them Mexicans, hippies, some, some fucking <laughs> One of these idiots had my scanner. Hey, there's a letter. That's the way out. Yeah. Come on. All right. We need to get our gear back. What? Are you nuts? Let's just get out of here. Look, if Stoddard gets his hands on it, he'll trace it right back to Kai and Tyson. Okay, we can't risk that. Shit. All right, so how you want to take this, man? There's a lot of Alpert's dudes down there. Uh, looks like there's a place to climb in on the left. Okay, but, but, or we could crawl under that fence over there on the right. Yeah, or we could take them head on. But if you're up for that. And you lead. I'll be right behind you. That's what I thought. Unfortunately. Let's just go. Come on. You want to do like kill. I'm killing Nick, get to the train.
Don't you have any other friends? Keep them. Keep them. Hold it right there. What the hell was that? Put your hands up. Don't move. I ready. Freeze. Don't fucking move. I ready. Hold it right there. Hey, don't, don't even. <clears throat> some triage. There's guns in the trunk. You got it. Now, for the record, this place has changed. A lot.
That's all of them. Hey, you okay? I need you to do me a favor. Tony's a hunter, so I could use a diversion. I decided I kinda hate the desert. So you're not coming with us? We can get you to a hospital. Nah, you seem kinda busy. Airfield's that way, you better hurry. Hey, Tony. Oh yeah. Good luck. See you around? And tell Tony I think he's away. Burn down house before we go. The fire looks kind of recent. I told you, dudes, good people. The dad's gonna come after us with everything he's got, you know. Not if we leave first. It's an airfield, right? Maybe we'll find a plane. So, uh, what did do mean when she said Tony keeps all his crap at this airstrip? Tony's almost kind of collecting shit. The less legal, the better. Really? So, what are we talking about here? So black market. He's even got a couple of grounded planes. Tony's got a lot of money, man. Drug stuff. Plus, he's real literal about his second amendment. Yo, that's it. The old airfield. Keep going. Airfield's just ahead. You know, I find it hard to believe you were a cop. Yeah, well, my dad was a cop, too. For real? Well, not the kind you're thinking of. You know the SDE? Cuban secret police? Oh, okay, wait, what, so what, you, you followed in his footsteps? And you tell me, man. His job was torturing prisoners. And he liked to bring his work home, you know what I mean? That's why I became a cop. A real cop. Sorry, man. Sorry that didn't work out. Well, it turns out you don't have to be a cop to stop people like him. Time to walk. Come on. Over here, Nick! <laughs> Hello. Woo! Oh, yeah, she's pretty and banged up, but I can fix it. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to fly a broken plane you fixed. What? No offense. Man, what are you trying to say, man? Are you down for boomer? Man, get out of here. I can fix this. I'll go find the brood. Radio's on, all right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Radio's on! Oh, shit. Boomer. Some of these guys are already here. Uh, uh, do you see, like, a, uh, uh, a warehouse across the way? Yeah. Yeah, it's barricaded. You can't sneak in? Oh, hang on. Yeah, I think I got an idea. Might be a little loud. Just fix that goddamn 
the plane. I'll hold them off. Tyson, we are going straight to Miami. Those guys can fix it. 